team making it grow hit the road once again. Andy Rollins joined the team this year. Andy is from Spartanburg, South Carolina, and he's the county extension agent. Andy visited a farm in Chester County. It's called Cotton Hills Farm, and they grow a wide variety of crops, including that old precious and beautiful Halloween pumpkin. Cotton Hills Farm is located in Lowry, South Carolina on busy Highway 321. I'm here with Pete Wilson, fifth generation farmer. Pete, are you still growing cotton here? We do, Andy. We get that question a lot, being Cotton Hills Farm. The, the name makes people ask that question. In addition to cotton, what else do you grow here? Well, it's not just me. It's my brother, Jeff, and my father, Jeff. This time of year, we're picking pumpkins. In the summer, we have tomatoes and okra, peaches. In the spring, we have strawberries. Uh, today we even have farm tours to the farm. Before we talk about the farm tours, your grits are my personal favorite, Pete. Can you tell me a little bit about how you produce them? Sure. We uh, grow the corn right here on the farm. The corn variety has been in my mother's family for over 100 years. It is called Burris corn, and it has not been changed. It's not genetically modified. It's the same corn they were planting back in the early 1900s. The corn, we, we combine it with a modern combine. We bring it here and we grind it with a stone ground grist mill. The grist mill is a 1905 grist mill, so it's been around a while too. Pete, can you tell me a little bit about the pumpkins you grow here? Sure. As you know, pumpkins are a very difficult crop for, for us to grow down in the south. They tend to grow a little better up north than they do down here. What sort of problems do you face? Well, we have a large variety of diseases. Uh, downy mildew, all types of stuff. There's a lot of things that want to take a pumpkin out. Uh, insects, they're, they're a big problem too. Well, what does it take to actually grow them? What sort of things do you need to do? We really try to stay on top of keeping them watered. If, if they don't get water when they need it, you're going to have small, ununiform fruit. With all of this produce, how are you able to keep it all fresh to the market? Well, with our new building, we're able to bring it in, we're able to cool it down, get the field heat out of it, and then we're able to keep it in a climate controlled environment until it's moved on its way. Pete, I know education is important to you here at the farm. Can you tell me a little bit about your farm tours? Yeah, Andy, we've been doing them for quite a while. We do them in the fall of the year. It's a little cooler. The weather's always nice. The kids come out, they get to go through a four acre corn maze. They get to see barnyard animals. And the best part of all, they get to go in the top of our barn and my dad tells them a little bit about what agriculture is. I've really enjoyed talking with you today, Pete. If people want to find out more about your farm, how can they do that? Well, the easiest way is to go to our website. It's www.cottonhillsfarm.com. When you get there, you can check out more about our farm tours, more about the farm history. You can see what's in season. We even have a journal so you can see exactly what's going on on the farm. I'm going to check it out, Pete, but before I do, I'm going to go get myself a pumpkin. <laughs> that sounds good.